I would like to say something to the families of those who are uh, in jail or who uh, passed away or were killed uh, or were uh, treated in a way which was undignified by governments and by militaries in Egypt, in Syria, uh, in Tunisia, in Yemen today. What we have in the Middle East is just a, a very, very sad picture of the reality. And I would say to the, the family first, when we believe in God, when we trust him, there is something which is important. It might seem that, you know, the result is not there, that we have been struggling and yet no freedom, no justice. But beyond this, we are not accountable uh, as to the result. We are accountable as to our intention to resist injustice, to stand up and to say we are not going to give up and this is our right and this should be the way forward. This is what we have to do. If we are killed, we are alive. If they are putting us in jail, this is where we are free from what they think they are doing to us. So there is a sense of spiritual freedom. There is a sense of uh, uh, the struggle that we should never give up, whatever is the situation, the sense of sacrifice, and to renew our intention. At the end of the day, what do we want in this life? What are we trying to achieve? To please the governments, to please powers, to be accepted by the West, or to stand and to be clear and to stick to our principles of... Uh, the spiritual freedom, the social freedom, the economic uh, equality, and justice for all. So for all those who are now uh, dealing with are sad because some of their relatives were killed, this is where a dua, the supplications and disconnection to God should be the way forward and to say that they might uh, uh, seem to have lost their life, but they might have gained something else, which is beyond whatever we think is right in this life, which is the reward in the hereafter. The second thing which is important for those who are in jail, it's also important to remember that so many of our scholars, so many of our models were put in jail and they were even rejected by the society. And still, after this, and through history, their names are our dignity. Their names are our, uh, the dignity of our community and the dignity of our humanity. So let us think about this, not to look at the situation as if we have lost the struggle. No, at the end, we are winning because our way to deal with justice and our way to stick our, to our principles might be perceived by politicians and powerful governments as the way they are going to impose onto us their will and their uh, dictatorship. At the end, our freedom should be the way forward and our spiritual take on this should be our strength. So, we rely on God and we stick to our principles. And this is the way we should be. And they are, all the people who were killed, all the people who are in jail are models. They are our dignity because they stand for justice and they never give up. Walhamdulillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.